Hello and welcome back to the New Creationist. Today we're going to be looking at the Uniprot website which is a protein database um, and today we're going to be looking at cytochrome B. Um, I've been looking at some cytochrome B comparisons, running my own comparisons and um, interesting some very very interesting results um, we're gonna look really quick let's say cytochrome B Uniprot website uh, is gonna give you a list of the cytochrome B and uh, homologs for the cytochrome B protein and uh, what I've done is um, basically compared um, I've actually run two comparisons. One is for the human cytochrome B and the other one is for yeast uh, and running comparisons of those against um, a multitude, actually 20, well originally it was 20 species and um, then I expanded that to include more primates and other non-primates. Um, Anyway, if we let's say we go look at the cytochrome B for yeast, um, it'll give you the amino acid sequence, and um, if, in fact, the page down here we go, the um, protein sequence for cytochrome B in yeast, and if you select this here, then you can begin to run. Um, comparisons against other species. We're going to blast this really quick um, just to give you an idea of what's going on. This is really just going to come up with um, sequences that are similar to the yeast cytochrome B uh, in the initial search. And it's going to take a minute. So what we're going to do in the meantime, um, what I've done is I've gone to record my results. So what I have here, um, cytochrome B sequence for human, um, pantroglodytes or chimp, gorilla, orangutan, green monkey. These are the primates here um, outlined in yellow. Um, green monkey, uh, colobus monkey, macaque, and so forth. So now we have other species down here, such as um, dog, rabbit, cat, hippo, shrew, panda, cow, goat, dolphin, and so forth. And um, With the comparisons here, the human um, cytochrome B, and this is the mitochondrial cytochrome, so it's the mitochondrial DNA. Um, some of these, like uh, some of the cytochromes, are also in the, or some of the mitochondrial DNA is also encoded in nuclear DNA, but um, we're just trying to simplify this and make these comparisons as straightforward as possible. Plus the mitochondrial DNA is widely used and accepted in phylogenetics. So um, in the comparisons to human, you have of course human is um, going to be 100 percent similar to human because when you compare it to yourself it's 100 percent similar. The similarity of human cytochrome B to chimp is 93.4 percent similar. I, I know you might have been expecting 98.5 percent similar, but it's not working out that way. Um, what we have is um, 355 amino acids are in chimp are identical to that in human. 353 amino acids in gorilla are identical to human. 
335 amino acids for the cytochrome B protein in orangutan are identical to human. 312 in green monkey are identical, etc. And going down the line, and basically what you do is uh, whatever the um, and and the difference is shown here. Uh, there's 25 differences in um, from human and chimp. 27 differences in gorilla. 45 differences in orangutan. 68 differences in green monkey and so forth. Now, of course, if you take the um, ident those that are similar, those that are identical, and just by division, you know, you're you're um, out of 380, you have 355 that are identical, giving you 93.4% similarity and so forth down the line. Um, you've got some wet nose lemurs, you've got um, a variety of monkeys and marmoset, ring tail lemur, bush baby, etc., etc. And of course, um, your, you know, your other ones down here also, I've done the same thing, taken the uh, percent of similarity from the uh, identical amino acids and uh, run um, a percent similarity here. So, obviously, what you should find then, if evolution were true, that primates having a more recent, supposed more recent common ancestor to humans should be more similar to human than non-primates. So we're going to test that theory um, just by simply sorting this column, which is the number of amino acids that are identical to human, and just run a sort here from up, oh, expand the selection. Yep. So now what we have is us. We've sorted these by. Um, the number of amino acids in cytochrome B and um, mitochondrial DNA um, from most similar to human to least similar to human. And you'll notice the order here. And of course, you know, the yellow is the primates. So uh, human, pantroglite, uh, well, let's go over here. Uh, human, chimp, gorilla, orangutan, dog, here we go again with the uh, problem that we were finding in ensemble, because dog is more similar to human than green monkey or any of these other below it, macaque. You also notice rabbit is more similar to human than um, these primates. Cat is more similar to human than these uh, than an Indri or a mouse lemur, or and there's more primates down here actually. A slow loris, caliber, tarsier. In fact, kind of interesting that a pig is more similar. The cytochrome B protein in mitochondrial DNA in pig is more similar to human than a tarsier, and a tarsier is a primate. Even a, cam a camel. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> got mouse and rat more similar to human than a tarsier. Uh, a cow is more similar to human than a tarsier. And, of course, the, you know, the problem that I was trying to, to, to reveal before, that I've mentioned before, was that um, a tarsier is a primate. So why isn't a tarsier more similar to human than a cow or a panda? And, and um, that's, that's a question that I've still not gotten an answer to. Um, why is a cat more similar? Uh, 304 amino acids for the cytochrome B protein. Why is a cat more similar to human than um, these uh, these other primates? 
a rabbit at 306 amino acids identical to human identical to human and yet a rabbit is more similar to human than a bush baby or Indri or a mouse lemur or these other primates and of course you know if you go back up the dog um, a dog is more similar to human than a macaque a green monkey a colobus I mean these monkeys sh shouldn't they be more similar I mean this is phylogenetics 101 people if humans shared a common common ancestor with these primates more recently than these non primates then the primate should be more similar to human than these non primates are so what we're getting here then is evidence that humans do not share a common ancestor that the whole theory of evolution is just unraveling before our eyes in these genetic comparisons the concept that there is a common ancestor is just wrong because the nested hierarchy here you see which is uh, often claimed to be evidence for evolution the nested hierarchy here is completely violated the contradiction the inconsistency between the data and the theory disproves the theory and that's about as simple as we get um, that's going to be it for now I'm going to get back to you as soon as I can with another um, cytochrome B problem which is identified with the yeast but that's going to be in my next video. Thanks for now and um, have a nice day.